Hello everyone. So today in this video, we are going to have a look at this uh, beautiful subwoofer system and we are going to see how this uh, subwoofer system circuit works. I am going to tear down this subwoofer box to take out the circuit inside this uh, box and uh, we are going to see the that uh, how this uh, subwoofer system is actually uh, amplifying the low signal uh, into high signal for that this 6.5 inch subwoofer speaker as well as uh, the these uh, 12 watts uh, speakers right so this is 12 watts this is 12 watts and this is a 6.5 inch subwoofer speaker so let's stay down this uh, uh, subwoofer box and uh, see the inside of the circuit Alright, so the circuit board is finally uh, removed from the amplifier box and uh, in the first glance, uh, we can see that uh, this circuit is uh, quite uh, uh, small in size and uh, it is uh, divided into two portions. Uh, the first portion is the power supply like right here. Uh, you can easily divide it uh, straight like drawing a straight line over here so this portion is the power supply portion and this portion is the uh, audio amplification portion so by looking at the uh, power supply circuit uh, we can easily identify it uh, as the switching mode uh, power supply and uh, it has only one MOSFET right here and uh, an IC over here so i'm guessing uh, this is kind of a flyback topology uh, where only one ic is uh, required right from the input side we see that the input voltage comes at this point and uh, which is then amp uh, filtered using these uh, capacitors and the inductors and uh, then it is uh, being provided to this uh, mosfet right here uh, which is uh, being switched using this uh, ic over here and uh, that switched uh, high voltage uh, is then uh, provided to this uh, uh, ferrite core transformer and uh, after that uh, this uh, the output side uh, that is the output side of this transformer goes here which is being rectified using the two diodes uh, one is at this point this one and there is another diode uh, right over there I don't know if you can see it or not but uh, there are actually two diodes and then the uh, rectified output voltage that is the DC voltage uh, goes from these uh, points to the rest of the uh, audio amplification circuit uh, the IC over here uh, that is this IC uh, which is being used for the switching of the MOSFET uh, its uh, name or the labeling is uh, missing and uh, it has been removed by the manufacturer so we are not going to know the name of this uh, IC right so moving on to the audio amplification part uh, we can see that uh, we have this uh, IR receiver over here and the uh, uh, you can say the uh, Bluetooth and the uh, USB SSD card and the aux inputs are directly uh, going into this uh, block over here and the, the output of that uh, uh, module goes right here uh, to this connector right so uh, that is not the interesting part uh, the interesting part that I want to show you here is uh, uh, first the uh, these three uh, ICs 
these are the uh, TDA 2050, which is the 32 watt uh, power amplifier ICs and uh, another uh, low noise operational amplifier, which is this one. Uh, it is the NE5532. And uh, other than that, uh, we have the uh, on off uh, button over here, which is connected in uh, series with the input as you can see over here right so other than that uh, you are going to see uh, some uh, filter caps over here and also some capacitors uh, under this block uh, and a few resistors uh, which are mostly for the uh, filtering purpose and uh, we have a potentiometer over here this potentiometer is basically for the uh, increasing or decreasing the volume of the subwoofer uh, so we are going to see uh, how this uh, uh, circuit audio amplification circuit works right so as we know that uh, the uh, input uh, is either from the bluetooth or uh, the uh, ssd or the usb uh, so that uh, module uh, is right here and uh, uh, from that module the input low voltage uh, input or the low uh, power signal is uh, coming right at these points uh, which is then first provided uh, to this uh, low noise uh, operational amplifier uh, since there is a possibility uh, of uh, uh, high noise especially in the uh, bluetooth uh, mode so that uh, noise is first being removed or reduced uh, using this uh, operational amplifier and uh, then the output of this operational amplifier is provided uh, to these uh, three uh, ICs that is the TDA 2050 over here and uh, uh, these three are for separate uh, speakers that is uh, the first one is for the subwoofer and uh, the second one is for the left speaker and third one is the for the right speaker and that can be easily identified uh, by looking at the output of these uh, 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 lines which is going to the respective uh, uh, point which is connected to the uh, speaker right or the subwoofer so uh, this is quite a simple uh, uh, power amplifier or uh, uh, simple amplifier circuit but uh, it uh, really provides a good uh, results uh, this is a very famous uh, uh, subwoofer system and uh, i'm using it uh, since a uh, uh, few years now so uh, i hope you have uh, uh, enjoyed this video and uh, now you know how the uh, basic uh, amplification of the audio uh, is done uh, in any uh, subwoofer uh, systems right so if you have any questions related to this uh, uh, amplifier system or the amplifier circuit uh, so do put it in the comment and i'm going to respond to that all right so that's all for today and i hope you have enjoyed this video uh, see you later take care bye bye